your way, your way. Try and find your way, your way, your way. Life is like a maze, your way, your way. Try and find your way, your way, your way. Life is like a maze. James. 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 Hey, Patrick. Alpha, when did you come in? You were watching this film when I left for work this morning and you're still at it. Patrick, this film is tough. I've never seen a film as action-packed and suspense filled like this film. Me. So you spend the whole day watching film? This film is a pressure cooker, Patrick. You need to spend some time with this film. You will understand. That means you didn't go for the job interview today. Was today? Yes, the interview was today and it took place 9 a.m. this morning. Patrick, I forgot totally. Why didn't you remind me this morning before you left for work now? Patrick, must I remind you of everything? I secured a lucrative job interview and expect me to remind you of the interview dates. I go marry wife for you, give a pelabi. was scheduled for next week. I forgot. Why won't you forget? When all you think about is films, and you watch these movies like they pay you to watch them. It's not like that now, Patrick. I, I thought it was... Me. So, so, what's going to happen now? What are we going to do about it now, Patrick? The thing that will happen now is that you remain jobless till there's a vacancy elsewhere. No, no now, Patrick. Please, now. Please. I just told you it was not intentional. I forgot, Patrick. Please, help me call the manager now. Help me call him to find out if it's possible I come for my own interview. Say, tomorrow morning, very early. Why not? It's possible. You can even go for your interview next month, since your father is the owner of the company. Hey, 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 Patrick, please now, please. The manager is your friend. Just help me call to find out if he can do something about it. It was not intentional, please. Yes, the manager is my friend, but I told you that post needs to be filled up urgently. He must have given it to one of the people that went for the interview today. Well, I'll see what I can do. Ha! <sighs> Man, it's so painful, though. Well, man proposes, God disposes. It's one of those things. No! It means you didn't set your priorities right. You were here watching film when you should have been at the job interview. Don't blame God for the consequences of your laziness. Keep on watching film. Life is like a book with a new page open every day. Open every day. No matter the hearts you face, make you try to find your way. People of this land, let us learn to love ourselves. ourselves. So we can have a better life. Idiot! Idiot! Shut up! Get up! Hey! 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 See, I had a rough day. I need to rest. Mm. See, if I should come out here again because of the shouting, you mm. mm. wouldn't like me.
Oya. Why not go and remove the meter or go and disconnect the whole electricity supply from the transformer? I will do just that if I have to. Don't you have any content in your head? You spent all the time watching this film all day and you're still watching it up to 2 a.m. But, but, but I'm not feeling sleepy. What am I supposed to be doing? Just stand up, go into that room, lay on your bed, look at the ceiling, think about your life. Think about how to give a meaning to your life instead of just sitting down here and watching TV. Hey, 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 hey. Fredo, maybe you create me. Maybe you create me. Eh? Man proposes, God disposes. Listen, God is not responsible for the consequences of your laziness. Okay? Stand up and think of what to do with yourself. And stop talking about God. Uh, okay, okay. I want to sleep here in the living room. Go inside and go and sleep. Finish, Abby. Go and sleep inside. I want to sleep here. James. I have closed my eyes. By the time I open my eyes and you are still there, oh, you will regret it. I, I said I want to sleep here. In short, I'm asleep already. Go and sleep. Good night. I think we're doing our best for James. Doing our best? Of course. <laughs> we're doing the best that any friend could do for a friend. That's exactly my point. We're not helping him by doing virtually everything for him. He's jobless and he doesn't care. He's getting more carefree by the day. <sighs> Listen, um, Patrick. James is just going through a phase. I mean, everybody goes through that. A phase, you call it. Left for me, I can only describe James as lazy. Whether you think he's lazy or not, James is still our friend. And we have to do our best for him. We have to. Can you imagine he didn't go for the job interview yesterday? What? He didn't? He didn't. What? Why? <laughs> That's James for you. He was at home watching TV. God. What? Why? That is James for you. He doesn't bother. But why can't he forget a thing like that? Mm -hmm. Because we provide virtually all he needs. He's carefree. That's just tips for you. I called a friend of mine that works in the office. He said the position has been taken, so he remains jobless. I think we'll talk to him in the evening when we come back, okay? Talk. We don't need to talk with him, James. We need to learn the value of him. Well, I agree, but Patrick, we have to roll. If we waste five more minutes here, we won't be able to be in the traffic. James. Hey, Patrick. Fredo. <laughs> Good morning. You guys are awake. You are ready for work. Yes, we are. And what is this with you and TV? James, they use TV swear for you. Your case is beyond physical. Wait, 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 wait. What's the meaning of that now, Patrick? Eh? What's the meaning of that? Exactly what I mean. Some people that must be some people in your village disturbing you spiritually. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. All you can think about is TV. Anyway, uh, Patrick, I think we'll just have to go now before we run late. Hey, 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 Patrick, Fredo. Hey. There's no food in this house again, no. Everywhere is totally empty. Even Gary is finished. James, just uh, manage this one. Uh, yeah, exactly. We'll stock up the house over the weekend, okay? Hey, Patrick. I had something now. Me, give you money. God forbid. I'd rather give it to a blind and hopeless beggar out there than give you money. Fred, let's go. Just take care of the house, okay? All right, thanks, man. I'll see you guys later. Life is like a book with a new page. Open every day. Open every day. No matter the hearts you face. 
Make you try to find your way People of this land, let us learn to love ourselves How's work today? Well, as hectic as usual. But what can a man do? Because there's no food for lazy man. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the case of James. He's lazy and he has more food than those working very hard. <laughs> um, that reminds me. Patrick, when will you learn to leave James alone? Um, when he decides to change his attitude towards life. Um, uh, were you able to do anything about his case today? Oh, yes, yes. Um, I spoke to a colleague of mine uh, who told me that um, there's a vacancy for an accountant in a new advert agency. So I've told him to lie with the MD because he knows him, you know, if we can send uh, James for an interview tomorrow, 8 a.m. Have you told him? Well, since I came back, he's been engrossed with that TV. Of course, you know him when he's watching his TV. So I, I will tell him before we go to bed. Should have told him so he can prepare his mind towards it. At least prepare his mind become, towards becoming a hustler. But as you can see, even as we are talking, he's still engrossed. I'm sure he didn't even notice you are in. James. 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 James! Um, what now, Patrick? Why did you scream like that now? Were you deaf? I called you three different times, you didn't hear me. I didn't hear you call and you didn't have to shout like that. What's the problem? My friend, stay here. Let's discuss how your life will change for the better. Get ready to become a hustler. Uh, Fred, please, tell him about the job vacancy. Yes, James. Um, there's an opening for an accountant you know, in a new advert agency. So you're going to need to go there tomorrow morning for an interview. Um, 8 a.m., okay? 8 a.m.? How long is too early? 8 a.m.? What is wrong with it here? Or do you have an engagement tomorrow? No, it's just that to wake up and eat him. What's too early? Even if it is 5 a.m., we don't have any right to complain. Mm. Okay. Eat him, Abby. I will give you the address of the place, okay? And whoever it is, you have to ask for. All right? Mm, what post did you say is available? An accountant. Accountant? Let's hear him tomorrow, Abby. Tomorrow? Yeah, no problem now. I'm ahead. I will go. Let me get inside now. Trust your intuition, but I'm not going to have you follow up on this lead. Do you understand? Fine. I'll do it on my own time. What time? You work 14 hours a day on this paper.
Shouldn't be in bed by this time as well. Ah. How do you mean now? I'm not going to work with you guys. So how am I supposed to wake up anymore? Will you shut up that your mouth before I slap it for you? James. Mm -hmm. So you have forgotten that you have an 8 a.m. appointment? Oh. That's true. Yeah. The advert uh, agency, post of an accountant. I almost forgot to, honestly. What kind of a human species are you? Just an information that was given to you last night, I've already forgotten about it. What is your brain made up of? Eh? Uh, uh, James, if I were you, I would stand up right now okay. and begin to get dressed. Okay. Okay? Okay. I already gave you the address of the place yes. and the person to ask after. Yes. Get dressed and begin to go now. Okay. Give it your best shot. I will. I will. Eh? Hey. And most importantly, do not get there late. I don't know. No, no. I'll get dressed now and go. I will get there late. Fred, let's go. If you like, get there late. No, no. I will not get there late now. I will get dressed now and go. You guys go to work. Have a nice day at work. I will see you later in the day. Okay, friend. Okay. So, don't forget to pray. I will, I will. I will. Give it your best shot. Okay. Okay. You guys have a nice day. We'll see you later in the day. It's still time, man. Can somebody just wake up at this time and start going out? Let me sleep for 15 minutes more, Joe. After 15 minutes, I'll get the rest I go. didn't go through your credentials. No, you didn't. You didn't ask you any professional question. No, you just asked me to drop my credentials and to expect a score. That was all. He didn't try to talk to you to find out whether you can you're capable of the job. Uh, he's the MD. Maybe he doesn't like to question people. Okay. What time did you get there? And eight o'clock. Eight on the dot. Okay then. You wait for the call. You call me. I'll get the job. Tell me it's not true, James. Welcome. James, tell me it's not true. What is not true? Our friend here messed up again. No. Uh -uh. Messed up. How? What is your problem, James? What exactly is your problem? What happened, friend? Didn't you go for the job interview? Ask him what time he got there. Okay. I've already asked him. He said eight a.m. Yes, 8 a.m. on the dots. I, I was just explaining to Patrick, I saw the uh, MD. I got there 8 a.m. And the MD said, hey, I should go home and expect his call. He said he would call me. I went. I, I was, she, I was just James, a... you'll be doing yourself a favor if you tell the truth. I went now, 8 a.m. I was there. I saw the MD and he said to expect his call. That James, I'm going to ask you for the last time. What time did you get there? You went late, didn't you? So what time did you get there? 11.30 a.m. But, but I saw the MD. I saw the MD. We talked and he said I should drop my credentials and expect his call. He will call me now. He said he will call me. James. If you were running the company, 
and you ask one to come for an interview for 8 a.m. And it gets there 11.30. Three hours, 30 minutes late. What will you do? Anyway, I spoke to a friend who helped put this thing together. He said he spoke to the MD and he's pissed off. He says he doesn't like James's attitude to time. And that if he employed somebody like him, he was going to ruin his company. So that is gone. It, it, it was not my fault, though. I tried, honestly. So what's going to happen now? It, it was traffic, Patrick, honestly. I left home. It, it's, it's one of those things, you know. This life, man proposes, God... Shut death. up! Don't use that phrase to justify your failures. What are you doing to I want to watch TV now. James, must it be always TV, TV, TV? Can't you think of something else? Eh, James? You watch TV from morning to night. Can't you sleep? Think! Eat! Even cry, James, cry! 